Jawa Balls. Okay, friends, so here we are. Uh, Jawa Balls, display board, take two. So, I have a much more subdued uh, design this time. Um, I went out and I got this nice frame, frame, oh, cork board, it's a black cork board off Amazon, it's really beautiful. It's perfect, and it's also a really good size. Most of them are way too small. This one is actually a frame size of 20 by 30. Perfect. <clears throat> so then I also went and I got two uh, 24 by 24 inch pieces of pink board. And I cut the first one to fit it just barely into the, uh, the inside here. It fits perfectly. I used the piece of the cutoff to fill the gap here at the end. Then I took the other piece that I bought and I cut a couple of crevices here. I just cut down the middle here, then slid it over and cut again to create this look. Then I cut a piece over here to kind of fill in some of this wide space. And another little piece to create like a little island of stuff. So the idea again, it's a irradiated river trench kind of thing. I'm going to put a couple of craters, one here and one there. And then back here, probably a couple of raised areas. You know, I've got to pick some scraps just in the back to create a couple of rise, risings. I ordered a couple of tiered spires off a 3D printer site. I don't expect them to be here on time. I'm hoping they're going to come in by... Wednesday, which will give me two days to finish this thing. Um, we'll see with the idea of it coming up in the back to create, you know, the symmetry and the rise. I like to go with symmetry when I, when I make my displays. So, here we go with some of the models going on them. Let's see. Let's put them all on. I've been painting furiously here, and the army is almost done. Before, uh, you know, when I'm all done with this, before the tournament the next weekend... I'm going to make a nice video showing them all off. You'll get a chance to see them all. This guard... Um, I have one finished sanguinary guard unit. Here they are. Mm -hmm. Then I have 16 more sanguinary guard to finish. So daunting. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how hard it is to paint an army to, to top standard. So much work. <laughs> oh jeez okay so, I don't know I gotta look at all their squad markings they've all got squad markings on their knees let's see yeah that's where he goes you guys can actually cross the precipice I'm gonna try to get myself a uh A little copper plate with my with the name of my army engraved on it, which will go right here. That'll be a sweet little touch. I don't have a huge army, but what I like about this display board is it will give me enough space if I play if I choose to play uh, some armor some other time. All right. This is the army. I have eradicators. I think that's what these guys are called. Six centurions. I have Lord Dante. I have a lieutenant with a jump pack. I have a 
Primaris Apothecary and a Sanguinary High Priest. Oh, his wing is a little loose. And I've got 22 Sanguinary Guard, one unit of six with swords, one unit of eight with axes, a unit of eight with swords. I have a tactical squad, a lowly tactical squad. I have them because of the multi-melter. I could take a five-man squad and give them a multi-melter. Rather than just having my other troops, for it's only five points more for the tactical squad. You know, but I have these incursor dudes, all they do is sit around. They might throw some bolter shots once in a while. But they don't do anything. So, um, a tactical squad with a nice multi-melter, I can just be blasting that multi-melter across the board. You know, for the entire game. No one's going to really waste any attacks on a tactical squad. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. So I have two incursor squads, a tactical squad, a six-man centurion squad. This thing is beast. And then my, my four little characters here, my, my little lieutenant, my little firstborn lieutenants. And uh, there we go. That's my army. Let's see. I'll zoom in for you. I'll do a way better video for, of them later once the display's all done and they're all painted. So anyway, um, more to come. Honestly, I kind of like this better. I loved the alien thing, but I think that was just overkill and distracting from the beauty of the army itself. So um, I think in the long run, this is going to be a better display board. Simple, pretty, effective. I'm going to still have the lights and stuff coming in here, but anyway, okay, more to come.